August 16th, year 2204. To Central Colonial Administrative Authority, Alpha Centauri Sector. From Colonial Contact Inspector 37. Subject, Lost Colony on Planet New Delaware. First contact established in 200 years. And proceeding on overdrive for personal investigation. I thought I told oh, you to consult me. Oh, take it easy, me. Mayor. I put the sign up. No aliens allowed within city limits. Uh, uh, what's an alien? Never mind. Look at the church. You painted it wrong. Now, look. Here, I painted that church with a nice bright red. Now, what's wrong with that? I looked it up. It's a little red schoolhouse, not church house. Churches are supposed to be white. Well, I got along fine enough in New Delaware for 200 years without either of yes, them. Yes, I know. I know. But we need them now, and we haven't got much time. Hey, uh, when do I get a police chief badge? I read that the police chief always gets a badge. Make yourself one. Now, go on. All right, then. Oh, it sure is hot. I don't know why the inspector couldn't have come in the wintertime. Oh, Tom. Tom Fisher. Yeah? Uh, come here, Tom. I've got a job for you. Well, now, uh, look, Mayor. I'm on vacation. The fish won't be back in these waters. Uh, no I... vacation. Not now. The inspectors do any day. Tom, how would you like to be a criminal? Well, I don't know. What's a criminal? Well, come over to my house, and I'll explain. I've got to appoint a criminal. And it looks to me like you're it. <laughs> New Delaware. New Delaware. Do you hear me, New Delaware? Come in immediately. Yes, yes, uh, we, we hear you. This is Colonial Inspector 37. You of New Delaware are still a colony of Earth and subject to our laws. Do you acknowledge that status? Oh, yes. Yes, we called a town meeting last night and we talked it all over. We're still loyal to Earth. Excellent. That saves us the trouble of sending an expeditionary force to reconquer you for Imperial Earth. Imperial? Well, that's funny. All the books talk about Earth as a united democracy. Uh, a lot can change in 200 years. You realize, of course, there is room for only one intelligent species in the universe, man. All others must be suppressed, wiped out. We can tolerate no aliens. I'm sure you understand, General. I'm not a general. I'm a mayor. You're in charge, aren't you? Uh, yes. Then you're a general. Be sure you're running an Earth colony, General, with no radical departures from the norm, such as free will, free love, free elections, or anything else on the prescribed list. Get your colony in order, General. Yeah. You see how it is, Tom? Now, about your job, Tom, <clears throat> I'm appointing you town criminal. Well, I don't see why there has to be a criminal. All the books say so. The criminal is as important as the postman or the police chief. He works against society. If you don't have people working against society, how can you have people working for it? I don't want to do oh, it. Oh, now, be reasonable, Tom. When this inspector comes, how can I hold my head up and tell him we don't have any crime? Don't you see that? Right there, the whole thing falls through. He'll see that we're not truly Earth-like. We're faking it. We're aliens. And you heard what he said about being rough on aliens. Well, yeah, yeah. But why me? Now, I'm supposed to have vacation now, now that the fishing season's over. Never mind. You're our criminal. Here, here, I've got this paper all made out for you just to make it legal. Uh, skulking permit. No, all men with these presents that Tom Fisher is a duly authorized thief and murderer. He is hereby required to skulk in dismal alleys, haunt places of low repute, and break the law. What's law? Well, I'll let you know as fast as I make them up. All Earth colonies have law. But what do we do? Well, you steal and kill. Look, I'll give you a couple of books on it, Tom. Steal as much as you like. Uh, one murder should be enough. Uh, don't overdo it. Well, it doesn't sound sensible. Well, somehow. you can work up to it. Why don't you start off easy like by haunting a place of low repute? <laughs> Miss Filling. Hey, how come you ain't out thieving now, Tom? Oh, I'm planning. My permit says I have to haunt places of low repute, and that's why I'm here. Oh, this ain't no place of low repute. Well, you serve the worst meals in town. Oh, I know. My wife can't cook, but there's a friendly atmosphere here. Folks like it. Uh, Tom, now, 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 just a minute there. Oh, hi, Billy. What do you have? I'm on official police business. Now, uh, Tom, what are you doing with that beer? Drinking it. Uh, Tom, I think you were planning on stealing it. You're a suspicious character. I think I'd better lock you up for further questioning. No, 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 Billy, Billy, what are you doing? I'm doing my duty, Mayor. Tom here is looking mighty suspicious. The book says... I know what the book says. I gave you the book. You can't go arresting Tom, not yet. Huh? Acting suspiciously isn't a crime. All right. But I was just trying to do my job. I'll still get you, Tom. Remember, crime does not pay. Crime does not... Hey, that's a real slick way of putting it, isn't it? I thought it was kind of catchy. I read it in the book. Morning, Marv. 
How's the schoolhouse coming? Oh, hi, Tom. Fair. Would have come along better if I'd had my saw. Your saw? Yes, I left it leaning against my door last night. Wasn't there this morning, Tom. Oh, yeah, your saw. Well, you know how it is, Marv. I had to practice some skulking last night. Oh, oh, yeah, sure. Say, Tom, do you suppose I could use the saw for a while, just for an hour or two? Well, I don't know. It's legally stolen, you know. Well, I'd give it back. I wouldn't keep anything that was legally stolen. Well, it's in the house with the rest of the loot. Okay, I'll go borrow it then. Uh, Tom, I've been looking for you. Oh, morning, Mayor. Did you steal my bronze plaque? Oh, I certainly did. Oh, well, I was just wondering. Well, you got your murder planned? Time is running short. Inspector may land any hour now, so let's get that killing over with. Oh, well, then uh, I guess I'll kill George Waterman. Why? Why? Why not? What's your motive? Well, I thought you just wanted a murder. Who said anything about a motive? We can't have a fake murder. On Earth, every murderer has a motive. Oh, well. Well, I don't like the way George walks. Never did, and he's noisy sometimes. No, that might be good enough for a crime of passion, but you're a legal criminal, Tom. You're, you're ruthless and cold-blooded and cunning. You can't kill someone just because you don't like the way he walks. That's silly. But I'm supposed to make somebody cease to exist. I mean, like, take Marv Carpenter. Here he is today working on the schoolhouse. Big fella. Now, if I kill him, well, he wouldn't work anymore. Now, I've been trying to imagine it. Marv Carpenter lying on the ground with his eyes glaring open and his mouth twisted and never going to hold a piece of wood in his hands again or never sing a song or have a beer or anything. It just kind of makes me sick. I mean, I can go on with a thieving, but murder... Yes, yes, I know, but it's your job, Tom. It's for the good of the village. Murder? Oh, i better go have another beer. Hey, uh, hey, what's that? That must be the inspector ship landing. Come on, let's go see. Perimeter guard advance. Sidearms to be worn at all time. And guards at battle stations. Uh, uh, welcome to New Delaware. Thank you, General. I'm the inspector. This is Mr. Grant, my political advisor. Is this the capital of the colony? Well, I'm afraid there's only one village on the whole of New Delaware. Only one? Grant, I told you when we surveyed the planet we were wasting our time. Patience, patience. We're ready, General. Let's inspect your village. <laughs> See, we've got it all. Jail, post office, church, little red schoolhouse. Oh, we're very normal. Very earthly. Grant, this place is worthless. No smelting, no heavy industry, no atomics, no taxation. Oh, no. oh they don't have anything. I'll be downgraded at the next colonial board. Why, well, this place is a, a utopia. It's subversive. We ought to blow it right out of the sky. Now, now, don't be despondent, Inspector. New Delaware has a very important commodity for us. What? You saw them, hulking peasants, nothing but farmers. Yes, strong, healthy farmers. Good cannon fodder. What? Oh. Oh. Let me take over. General. Yes, sir? How many able young men are there in the village between the ages of 15 and 60? Uh, why? You see, General, Imperial Earth is engaged in a war. The colonies in Ding Four are revolting against the authority of Mother Earth. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. We need good, healthy fighting men. Our reserves are depleted. We wish to give all loyal colonists a chance to fight for Mother Earth. We're sure you won't refuse. Most colonies welcome a little conscription. Cleanses the blood. Reduces crime. Crime? Oh, I thought that would come up. We, we've taken care of that. I appointed... You see, Grant? 60, 70, perhaps 100 recruits. Not such a waste of time coming here after all. Hey. Hey, wait a minute, Mayor. Oh, hello, Tom. What? What are, what, what are you doing? Well, you said there had to be a murder, so... No, I'm no, no, gonna... no, wait just a minute. I, I... Look, I didn't mean me. It can't be me. You haven't any motive. Well, uh... I've been pretty sore about you appointing me town criminal. Well, look, it was the mayor who appointed you, wasn't it? Well, sure. Well, then, look, I'm not the mayor anymore. I'm, I'm a general. Look, you see, stars, gold braid. Well, what's that got to do with it? Well, you missed the ceremony this afternoon, Tom. The inspector said I had to wear a general's uniform. It was, it was a very friendly ceremony. All the earthmen were, were winking at me and each other. Oh, congratulations. But you were the mayor when you appointed me criminal, so my motive still holds. Yes, but killing a general isn't murder. It's mutiny. Oh. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right, Tom. It's just that I've read up on it and you haven't. Well, I better get back. The inspector wants a lot of the men he can draft. Are you sure this murder is necessary? Oh, yes. Yes, absolutely. Just not me. No luck, huh, Tom? I just can't do it. Ed, I can't kill anybody in the village. I grew up with him. I've worked with him. 
I drank root beer with him. I don't have any motive for killing any of them. Well, Tom, you have to commit a murder. You don't want to let the village down. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I got an idea. Ed, suppose I kill the inspector. What's your motive? Oh, it would be a very terrible crime. I'd be killing for glory, for fame, for notoriety, and it'll show Earth how earthy New Delaware really is. Well, they'll say crime is so bad here that, that, that a criminal actually killed their inspector on the very first day. Yeah. Well, how are you going to do it? Well, one of those soldiers got drunk in a bottle of your Keebler juice, and I stole his gun. Well, I better get going. I'll wait for him on the path between the mayor's house and the ship. Yeah, good luck, Tom. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Sloppy crow, all their feet. Still, it's a nice night's work. With those landing parties dying like flies, we can use every new man we can get. Shh! Don't say that. What? Are you afraid the mayor will hear me? Don't be ridiculous. It's a completely passive population, sheep-like, obedient. But wait till those sergeants get hold of them at the base. They'll whip them into first-class fighting men in no time. Halt! Stand and deliver! What the... Why, it's Tom. Uh, Hands up, Inspector. I I got you covered. Now, the rest of you, drop your guns and move out of the way. What? Now, see here. Now go on. Now drop those guns. What's the meaning of this? And who are you? Uh, Tom Fisher. I'm the town criminal. I'm going to kill the inspector. Now, please move out of the way. Criminal? So that's what the mayor was prattling about. Now, I know we haven't had any murders in 200 years, but I'm changing that now. Move out of the way. Well, I suppose I'd better get out of the line of fire, eh? Now, wait a minute. Wait. Now, don't move. Now, I know just how to do it. I've been thinking about it. I'll push this button and you'll die. Now, you'll fall down on the path and your eyes will be open and your mouth twisted and no air going in and out of your lungs and no beat to your heart. And I... And I, I... I can't do it. Here, here's your gun. Take it. I don't want it. Quick, quick after him. Sergeant, have the entire ship's company turned out. General, I want all your people out looking for him. Shoot on sight. Kill him instantly. Oh, we couldn't do that. Although we appreciate the compliment. What? That man's a... He's a criminal, yes. That's, that's what I'm trying to explain. I, I appointed him. We had to have one. You what? You mean you had no criminals? Well, I... No, no, I'm afraid not. I, oh, I'm terribly ashamed. You see, we knew how uncivilized we were, and that, that's why we did it. I, I'm dreadfully embarrassed that Tom couldn't handle the job. Why did you give the assignment to that particular man? Well, I figured if anyone could kill, Tom could. He, he's a fisherman, you know. It's, it's pretty gory work. And he wasn't able to kill the inspector? Well, we just haven't had to kill anything for 200 years except fish. The only animals on New Delaware are small grass eaters, and they're not good to eat, so we never kill any of them. And the rest of you would be equally unable to kill? We wouldn't even get as far as Tom did. I want that man found and... Forget about it, Inspector. What? We'd better get away from here. You want men in our army who can't kill? Think of it. The morale problem. The possibility of infection. One man in a key position endangering a key ship. Or maybe a whole fleet, because he can't kill. It isn't worth the risk, Inspector. Yes, sir. I, I see what you mean. Order your troops to get back to the ship. We'll take off at once. Tom? Tom, you can come out now. Tom, they're gone. He's, he's hiding around here somewhere, Mayor. Yeah. Tom? Oh, Tom. Here I am. I'm sorry I bungled it. I guess I won't be needing my skulking permit anymore. No, no, I guess not. Well, we did our best. I had the chance, and then I let you all down. Oh, Tom, it, it's not your fault. Now, look how long it took Earth to get civilized. Thousands of years, and we were trying to do it in two weeks. Yeah. Well, we better get back to the village. Looks like rain. Yep. Soon I'll start fishing again. Say. What is it, Tom? I think I could have done it if I'd only had the sense to think of the inspector as a fish. Well, it's too late now. I guess I'll let the village down. (laughs) 